Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you God for blessing the Cancer with a, collect, with a concise, clear message from you. All right, let's get into it. I'm sorry, I'm listening to one of my favorite songs. Uh, if you ever. Um, the camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, let's see, Fleetwood Mac Storm. I love this song. Um, I have to do two things at the same time. I can't just do these readings and just have like quiet. <laughs> sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, but anyway. Moving right into your reading because you don't care about that. Um, so Cancer, it looks like you have some man who is who just can't cope with the loss of the relationship, honey. They can't get over it. Or this is you, Cancer male. Um, okay. First of all, um, this person feels like um, loving you is like an addiction. I mean, they just need more and more of it. They're going through withdrawals right now. Um, they're going through such withdrawal. Uh, they have become a wallflower, like despondent, uh, checking out of life, not dressing up, not going out, not engaging. Um, laziness uh, because they could be uh, waiting for a message waiting for you to message them and they're waiting to talk to you cancer in person or vice versa this is what you're doing you're definitely waiting for communication and it's going to be communication on an intellectual level because you guys have some things to hash out to clear the air about this person could tell you um, that they love you, okay? Yeah, they love you. They want to be with you. Let me check this camera to focus just a bit. Hang on, guys. Yeah, let's see. I think that got a little better. I'm sorry, guys. No, it got progressively worse. Um, Anyhow, this card says love. This person could tell you that they love you. Um, they're realizing that they love you because they're going to, through some type of spiritual awakening, um, that spiritual growth here, some, uh, some awakening in their soul. They're realizing that maybe the love that you two have is one of a past life, okay? Um, they understand that, um, you know, there's a deep feeling in knowing that you or this is how you feel that they they've known your soul before they known you before in a past life um like you have journeyed through lifetimes together um some of you this person could astro project to you in your sleep or they try to invade your your dreams or they try to telepathically communicate with you and try to just get to you it could be that you guys have a brief reunion just to find closure and move on, or it could lead to a long-term relationship. But someone is definitely in a place of spiritual growth in terms of what this relationship means. Because um, you or the other person was not serious about this relationship. You actually kept it open. You were open to other people. Um, and maybe um, the both of you were, because there's an energy of somebody saying, look, we're we both are cheaters, so why not get back together? <laughs> you know, um, yeah, someone is saying, look, I understand that um, I kept the relationship open. I did not uh, solidify anything with you. And at times, you know, I slept around or I sleep around some days. This person could be saying, I sleep around some days. I find, some days I find nothing wrong with this and some days I need help. So. This person could be very promiscuous or they just, you know, they go their own way. They um, 
like to engage in fun times, okay, whatever that is to them. But right now, it's either you or the other person who is coming off as checked out of life, despondent, um, bored, not wanting to get out there, to go out there, because it seems as if somebody understands the connection that they have to another soul, another person. And it could be very much that there is some man, because we have the lover showing up, who is realizing that he is in love. We have the love card showing up. So we got lover and love. So someone is realizing that they're in love with someone that they are separated from and not in communication with. Someone who they want to have face-to-face -face communication with. Someone they want to invite out, okay? Um, because they are addicted to this person, all right? And someone here, Cancer, uses children, kids, or a kid to get to you, okay? Um, but they understand right now that they can't give you what you deserve. Or this is you, kids. So you know that you can't give somebody what they actually deserve. But then there's another energy. This could be, this is a very maniac. It's like a maniac. Like this person goes through mania, highs and lows, and, you know, yes and then no type of energy. Because they also have the energy, I'm going to ask you to move in with me. But at the same time, they know that they can't give you what you deserve. So I don't know if they want to waste more of your time or they just want to draw you back in. Um, but there's also an energy here who's saying, look, no, I'm not going to change my mind about you. You are for the streets, period. What does that mean? That means that somebody is basically a street walker. No, it means that someone is, they are out there they're promiscuous they talk to everybody they hang out with everybody they flirt with everybody you know the door is open always but then there's the energy of someone saying i'm coming back to you a changed man or a woman um it's like someone doesn't want to let you go or cancer someone yeah or you don't want to let someone else go um there's been a lot of turbulence within this connection but it just seems as if uh the both of you can't get over it. and someone is finally awakening to what the relationship really means and someone is at a place of where they need to go to a doctor you now either a physical doctor or an emotional doctor and that would be a psychotherapist therapist counselor because someone needs to talk about the emotional bonds that um maybe even the emotional scars um some deep-seated issues uh, that won't allow them to heal move on um somebody keeps reopening a wound here redoing wanting to restart something over but not change so this is what i have for you cancer i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own oracle reading just like this one we didn't use any tarot cards so an oracle reading would be just that or you can book any reading at the, the website level you can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below uh, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you cancer many blessings to you take care